Welcome back to Mel's Kitchen, my fellow at-home chefs, where it's restaurant quality cooking made at home. Today, I am so excited about what we're making. We are making sweet potato cornbread. That's right, and I'm about to start with my sweet potatoes. Stay tuned. So I just finished with my potatoes. They are still hot. I'm going to put them in my kitchen aid. Now I know it's going to get a little loud in here, but I'm only going to use this for just a second. I'm going to go ahead and just stir them up just a little bit. You can see the smoke coming off of them. They are hot. I just want to get them a little warm. I'm going to have to get that out of the middle of it. So let me see if I go faster. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take this back off so that you guys can see while I put the other ingredients in. Again, you will have the information in the description box below. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put four large eggs in there. Now I use, I believe they're free range eggs, straight off the farm. I'm gonna put four eggs in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put one and a half cup of buttermilk. Now this recipe, I said, you know what? I wanna make something that's a little bit different from what other people make. And so I came up with this recipe all by myself. Um, I made it once only, it was so good, but we do not eat, um, we don't eat, um, what do you call it? We don't normally eat um, a lots of carbs or anything. This is buttermilk. But every once in a while, we do treat ourselves. So that's one cup. I'm gonna use a half another cup as well. Okay, so one and a half cups of buttermilk. And then we're gonna go ahead and get to our cornmeal that we're gonna use. And since this is wet ingredients I have here, I'm going to get me another um, measuring cup so that I can do cornmeal. And I'm going to go two and a half cups of yellow cornmeal. That's a little bit over two, but that's okay. My husband's looking like, how are you gonna measure that properly? Um, but it'll be okay. Got it together because typically I don't actually measure. The only reason I'm measuring is for you guys. So if you watch the description box down below, I will tell you how much you should put in. And then for us, we will just keep on going. Now I am gonna start to let this um, steer together because I typically am steering as I put this here. So I'm just gonna put it on low, hopefully that you guys can still hear me. So I've just put my cornmeal in, now I'm gonna do a cup of flour. I'm gonna put that flour in, and while my husband's getting that cup of flour, I'm gonna go ahead and put together a cup of sugar, a half a cup of sugar that is. We have never baked and recorded. That's never happened, okay? So this is a little bit <laughs> frightening, to say the least. That's okay. So here goes the sugar. Sugar's going in. Here goes the flour. Flour is going in. And now I'm gonna start getting all of my other ingredients together. So I'm gonna get um, baking powder, which looks like this, and I'm going to put in a tablespoon of baking powder. And then as that stirs, just slightly. Let's pour that in there. And then I'm going to put in 
one and a half teaspoons of salt. And everybody knows there's a little bit of salt in cornbread when you're making it regular, so you do want to make sure you've got salt in there too. I'm going to put all of that in because that was just a little bit too much. I'm also going to put in half a teaspoon of baking soda. So it will bake up just right. And then I'm going to take half a teaspoon of all of these ingredients. So I'm going to put some ground nutmeg in here. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of that. That smells really good. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of ginger. And that's ground ginger, by the way, if you don't typically use it. Okay. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Butter is my last ingredient that I put in. And I'm going to put it in. I've got half a, well, I've got a whole stick of butter, which is like a half a cup. And I'll just put the sticks in like that. And then I'm going to turn this up and let this steer everything together. Now I'm going to fast forward through this part. This smells so good. I finished mixing it. So now I'm going to pour this. I have a pan that I have buttered and I'm going to pour. I don't know the best way to pour it so that you can see it. There we go. Pour that in there. There you have it. There's some sweet potato cornbread. Now, if you try this, I want to see pictures. I really need to see pictures of what it looks like. And you better tell somebody where you got your recipe from, too. Only in Mel's Kitchen, where it's restaurant quality cooking made at home. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to cook this on 425 for 25 to 30 minutes. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can tell how orange and beautiful that is. Look at that. Guys, we are here with the hubby with our sweet potato cornbread. It smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. Oh, it looks good. It looks sticky. Got honey on my fingers. Greatness. Without further ado, I'm going to start with the crust. And that's how I like my brownies. Mmm. The MP magic baby. Mmm. That thing is hitting. Usually, at the end of all my reviews, my wife likes to nibble on my little piece that she cut me. Not this time. Wait a minute. <laughs> you gotta get your own. <laughs> it's mine. Mmm. Mm. That thing ain't good. What about the texture and the... Mm, it tastes like... I mean, the texture is uh, like cornbread, but it's so savory. I just feel like I deserve a nap after eating this. <laughs> and, yeah. Like, I'm really finna eat all this. Like, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.
Man, I might have to slap you.